much better. Has anyone seen Charlie Harris before? A good side. Yeah. Well, no, because you can see my sideburn on this side. Fuck off. Has anyone seen Alaquisha Jones before? Yeah. No, still counts as a yes, thank you. Has anyone seen our uh, Candy Cane Baxter before? Yeah. So you've seen fucking Charlie Hyde, so why did only four people fucking scream when I said, have you seen Charlie Hyde before? Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, go on. What? You're the one fucking talking, not me. You told me to shut up. So, this is the first time I'm seeing such a hosting before, so I'm trying to kick her in. Go on. Kick her in. Go on, let's go, mate. Are we going to do the usual and split them into two halves? Are you Miss Blanche? Well, oh, no, you've got a new wig. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> The reason I want to be on this side is because this is where Dexy always stands and the lighting's better because fat people stand on this side, don't the Dex? That's not very nice. You'd know about it. Exactly, you see? Who called her fat? She's not fat! Look at the for her there, turn her nose up. She's not fat! Are you one of them posh people? Do you get out of the bathtub with this? You're one of them, aren't you? Yeah. Let's do it. Keep the back warm. <laughs> Sorry, you got I'm just going to let everyone know we've got some celebrities in tonight. <laughs> we've got the showbiz himself, Mr. Danny Sher Bailey, down here. Come on, get out of here, Danny. Get out of here. 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 Get out that's not very nice, Derek. What did he say? Yeah. We've got our Derek Towel in the building, aka DJ Dexy. Oh, bless. He's been watching me work all evening, haven't you? You've been watching me digging a pool, haven't you? I didn't tell her it's your great. He's wearing his special cardigan just for this event. Timmy. God. Can you hear me? Madeline. Timmy. Mom. Oh, it's you. Could we raise the volume on my microphone, please? <laughs> Testing one, two, three. Oliver, thank you, 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 thank you. I think it's time for you to just say, hey, it's showtime. <laughs> <laughs> That's how a professional would start the show. Fuck you, Grandma, I hope you rot in hell. She's not fucking changed a bit. <laughs> Watch me for the... Fucking deaths of hell and still taking the piss out of me. I'm doing my best! Do you love me now, mama? Do you love me? Sorry, got carried away again. Yeah, I'm Jackie. Just bring him on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, stamp, clap, cheer, and shout for the one and only, the YouTube sensation, Mr. Charlie Hyde! Yeah! for the Charlie Hyde's TV show. Stage lights off.
sound check. And you wouldn't know me today, but you have got to see. chance to check this out. Hello there, sir. How are you? Good. What's your name? Jordan. What is it? Jordan. Jonathan? Jordan. Jordy. Uh, say, say it again really loud so I can hear. Jordan. Jordan. Are you in show business, Jordan? Now get your fucking feet off the stage. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Making friends everywhere I go. So uh, my name is Candy King Baxter. How many of you have seen me before I make some noise? How many of you have never seen me before make some noise? Yeah. How many of you don't give a fuck if you've never seen me again? Yeah. Oh. I'm so glad I took the one pound mega bus up here. Um, well, for those of you who've never seen me before, um, Oliver, Oliver and Sam, could we show them show them a picture of my husband Reginald? Because I'm married. That's my husband Reg. Oh. Oh. That's, now, a lot of people don't know what I find attractive about multimillionaire Reginald Baxter. But every night I get to snuggle up to a warm catheter bag and in the morning I'll wake up in a puddle of cold piss. But for the first time in my life it's not my own, so that's a good thing, right? Always look on the bright side of life. Fabulous audience, excellent. Jo Jordan? Jordan, see, see, you still get your feet on the stage, don't you? Are you, are you dying to be in show? I don't mean to offend you or upset you or anything like that, because I did that the last time I was here. Danny, do you remember the last time I was here? I upset people. I didn't mean to, because sometimes I say the wrong thing. I put my foot in it. I, I put my foot in it more often than Oscar Pistorius at a stumping party. I, I say the... Are you owing Oscar Pistorius or stumping parties? Which of the two are you upset? No, because I don't mean to offend people. Sometimes I say the wrong thing. The last time I was here, all I said, I did a simple joke. I said, why shouldn't you fuck retarded midgets? Because it's not big and it's not clever. And I had... I had people getting upset. They sent me text messages. There were messages on Facebook. We're going to boycott your show. We're going to boycott your show. We're going to boycott your show. I expected to arrive here to, uh, tonight to find the mayor of Munchkin City in the Lollipop Guild out in front holding picket signs, you know, and biting me in the knee as I tried to come in, you know. And of course, all the signs would be spelled wrong because they're retarded. But making friends everywhere I go. No, because sometimes I say that they, the wrong thing and I don't mean to. Like the other day I pulled into a disabled parking space and as I skipped into the store, because my legs work, um, this woman goes, excuse me, excuse me, what's your disability? I'm like, what? She said, what's your disability? I said, I've got Tourette's syndrome. No, fuck off, you cunt. Yes. And then I went in the bank and I stepped... 
I stepped over this homeless person, and as I walked into the bank, I'm like, oh, well, look, he's homeless. I went in and I checked on my money, and when I came out, he says, any change? I said, no, you're still homeless. So, sometimes I offend people, and I don't mean to, but... It is kind of getting... Okay. It's a little warm in here. I just thought... I thought I'd... I thought I'd change it to something a little bit cooler. My husband, Reg, you know, I woke up in bed beside him this morning. You're like, and he looked at me and he said, What are you, do what are you doing with that pillow? Let's go get a photo. Morning, Reg. Because uh, some, some mornings I, when, I, when I wake up, I hold a mirror under his nose to see if I've won the lottery. Oh, and, um... <laughs> I fuck more pensioners than Harold Schiffman. I have. I, I like this old. I like. I like old men. My favorite porn movie is Cocoon. I like old guys. What can I say? My pussy's like a bus over 65's ride for free. I've had some. I've had more old dicks in me than your Ryan at the Antiques Roadshow. I like old men. And I think I should do a song for my husband, Reg. What do you say, Oliver? Shall we do it? Here we go. Not quite so loud. I like old men that cannot lie. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Stop, Ollie, Ollie, stop, stop. There's way too much bass up here. Do you think you could bring the bass down just a little? Because it's going up and it's making my vagina just a little quivery. It's, you know, when you when you stand up here, the bass because you know what I'm talking about, Danny. When the, 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 the goes through, it's a good thing I'm wearing my pad with wings. Otherwise, it'd be really moist. Uh, I'd be a <laughs> Too much information. All right, let's try it. Very good. I like old men and I cannot lie. You know I like a wrinkly guy. When a man rolls in in a shiny wheelchair and a head covered in gray hair, I get weak. For male and cheek, as I love those little spots on his cheek, a face maker he is wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh, granddad, you make me hyper. I want to change his diaper. My lawyer tried to warn me, because his emphysema make me so horny. He is so ill. You know, I want to get in his will. So do me. To me and let your children sue me. This is so easy. His breathing's wheezy. He's old, gray. He ain't gonna live another day. I'm tired of magazines saying young guys are the thing. Take a rich old man with heart disease and I get down on my knees. So Ellis, Ellis, is your granddad about to quit? Tell him to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake your plastic hip. Hey. Hey. A whole 39 pounds on a microphone. That's excellent. Well done. <laughs> Check one, two. Okay, fabulous. Have you been to the beach recently? Been to Grand Canaria. You've been to, yeah, because you've got that tan thing going on and everything. Oh, is that, a, is that a spare microphone? Oh, one that you spend... Oh, it's a, it's a Shure... It's a Shure PG... A P, Shure PG 58. I'll just put it over here for a second like that. No, it's because I'm down south. We haven't had too many uh, sunny days yet. Down in London. And uh, you know, because what happens is here in, in the UK, I've lived here long enough that as soon as there's like two days where the sun is out and the temperature goes above 18 degrees, all of a sudden English guys start taking up their sh shirts in public squares. You know that they're lying out in parks and stuff like that, sitting on a park bench, having their lunch, taking their tops off. I haven't seen so many pasty faced white people since uh, th that guy, you know, um, Joseph Fritzel and his kids out of the basement. You know what I'm saying? It's a bit... <laughs> Making friends everywhere I go. So... I'm just a little bit bitter because um, a lot of people don't know this, but my mother should have been in the South Tower on 9-11, in my opinion. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
<laughs> I like the woman. Last week was my birthday, and um, has anybody had a birthday recently? Anybody? Have you noticed that the older you get, the mean of the birthday cards our people send you? Have you noticed that? I got a birthday card. On the front, it had a picture of a woman's rotting corpse. And on the inside, it said, at least she can still attract flies. <laughs> Love, Mom. <laughs> Going to Australia for her birthday. Yes. The party's in New York. We just want to be as far away from the cunt as possible. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> But I love living here in the United Kingdom because if you, you've got free health care. Free, isn't that amazing? Free health care. Scarlett Johansson here is not impressed with the free health care. You, 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 you do look like Scarlett. You're adorable. What's, what, is, what is your name? Zoe. Zoe. Look at her. She's nervous. She looks like she looks like Cheryl Cole with a live microphone. Like. And look at this woman here, she's got her hair and makeup. You did your hair and makeup and you're wearing jewelry to come to a gay bar. Bless you. Uh, look at the other we go through. Do, do these bags give a shit? No. No. We go through all this a total waste of time. It's like Stephen Hawkins buying a treadmill. It's a waste of time. You realize that? It's like Stevie Wonder buying a 3D TV. It's a waste. But you made the effort. God bless you. What is your name, Precious? Kira. Nice to meet me, Kira. Here. Do you work for the NHS? What do you do for work? Prostitute. Excellent. No, that's why you're dressed up. No, that's a compliment. That's how you're pretty enough to charge for it. Some of my friends couldn't fucking give it away, Kira. They couldn't. They couldn't. What do you do for work? You're a singer? Oh, were you here? Were you here to take notes the way I butchered that song? <laughs> I bet you do sound checks, don't you? Oh, look at me, I'm all professional, I'm Kira. Um, <laughs> I even sing them in the original key. No, you don't know them three times? Um, so the NHS, I love the NHS because of the free healthcare and they've very graciously given me a brand new liver. So, apparently someone had to die for me to get it. So as a tribute to that lovely little 16-year-old virgin girl that never tasted alcohol, I've decided to take better care of this liver than I did the first two. Hit it. Not so loud. You can never know what it's like. I had to have my liver transplanted twice. They say I drink too much. I drink as much as you. I got fingered by a tramp with head lice in a public blue. <laughs> I take my coffee with a shot of gin I'm a knicker since there's no to I'm a next to kin I did a bumble coat mixed with special cake I woke up with a German shepherd in my bed today Well don't you know I'm still standing better than I ever did I stole a bag of wine gums off of a disabled kid I'm still standing and I'm feeling fine I drank a case of silly fang Cause it tastes just like wine It's good if you tried it I'm still standing Your turn Yeah, yeah, yeah That's not good enough Let's do it again I'm still standing Yeah, yeah, yeah Excellent I wake, wake up in the gutter nearly all the time If I start to fall asleep, well I just snort a line of drink vodka for the shakes just to calm me down They try to make me go to rehab Cause I shot a circus clown Don't you know I'm still standing Better than you'll ever know Looking like a true survival Hope I make it through the show I'm still standing, but I can't feel my legs They won't let me near the bar due to health and safety regs I'm still standing, your turn Yeah, yeah, yeah Very good Should I go to rehab? No, no, no I'm still standing Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm still standing Thank you very much. Thank you. Ooh. Oliver, 
I'm switching back to this one, and I'm going to turn this one off. And I'm gonna, look at that! How many people do a sound check right in front of you? Boys and girls, I have got not one, not two, not three, but about five divas waiting in this dressing room. And this is a proper dressing room, too, because a lot of places that like this, when they knew I was coming, they put a mirror on the counter. Um, it's just flat on the counter. And there's a clothes rail in there. There's hanging stuff. It's, 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 it's a proper dress, because most of the places I play, they make me change into the disabled toilet. When I first performed here a couple years ago, they made me change into the disabled toilet. I've been in more disabled toilets than Heather Mills, boys and girls. I, I have. Hey, what do you call a dog with one leg? Heather Mills. Waka waka waka. How are you going to get out of here? You don't really want me to do waka waka jokes, do you? Yeah! No, because that was just... That, you are a politically correct, sophisticated, and refined audience, and you don't want me... You don't want me to do jokes at the expense of celebrities, like, what's the difference between Susan Boyle and a brick? A brick gets laid. What do you call Susan Boyle with a rape whistle? An optimist. Waka waka waka. What's the quietest album in the world? Stephen Hawkins unplugged. <laughs> what do you get if you inject semen into an apple pie? Fired from Tesco. <laughs> what goes black, white, black, white, black, 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 white, black? The sugar babes. <laughs> Why is spinach like anal sex? Because if, if you were forced to have it as a child, you'll hate it as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Should I stop here or more? Hurry up! Knock, knock! Who's that? Not Madeline. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a beautiful woman on the arm of a ginger bloke? A tattoo. <laughs> Too far? Why, are you ginger? Oh, oh, bless, how liberal are you in Leeds? You allow gingers in. Isn't that lovely? Now, where I'm from, that normally burned as witches, so it's lovely to see a couple have grown to maturity. Isn't that lovely? Do you, do you, look, she's getting all upset. I liked that bitch before, and I... <laughs> That's it. That's it. My pubes do not smell of cheesy what's it? you are not even American. <laughs> Quavers. What is, what's your name? What's your name? Alexis. Alexis. It's a pleasure to meet me, Alexis. Um, I was trying to say, let's just do a few more Waka Waka jokes. Um, how does Tom Cruise remove a condom? He farts. <laughs> what's the quickest way to get stoned? Be a lesbian in Iran. <laughs> and finally, how do you get Jamie Oliver to scream twice? Fuck him up the ass, then wipe your dick in his tea towel. Ladies and gentlemen, Yay. let's see if we can get a couple of divas out here. Ollie, press play. Woo!